The impossibility of this triangle is deeply mathematical, and it was the brilliant Roger Penrose, you know, recent Nobel laureate, who first noticed this. By the way, I had the opportunity to meet him a few weeks ago. Lovely chap. The impossibility of the triangle is, in some sense, captured by the inability to glue together the corners in a way that makes sense in 3D space. If you look at the triangles being assembled from slightly overlapping L-shaped pieces, no single piece on its own is impossible. It'd be pretty easy to make a three-dimensional object that looks like just one of the L-shaped pieces. But the trouble comes when trying to glue these pieces together, and the reason is what Penrose calls the ambiguity group. See, given the standard rules of perspective, a 3D object that's represented as a picture could be twice as far away so long as it's twice as big. It'll end up looking the same. But in order for an object to be possible, it needs to be assembled in a way that the distances to each of the assembled pieces match up. That is, if according to perspective, one part must be in front of another, the actual part must be actually closer. So let's now look at each of the overlap points of the L shapes. Labeling the points connecting 1 and 2 by A, 2 and 3 by B, and 1 and 3 by C, and then giving an additional label of the number the connection point is on, we can talk about the distance from the physical object to our eye. Call it, say, DEA1 for the actual distance from point A1 to the eye. Then, labeling the ratio of distances of connecting pieces, say, DEA1 over DEA2 by D12, and the other ratios accordingly, we now have six ratios, half of which are the inverse of the other half. Now, if we double the distance to object 2, then D23 and D21 both double, and D12 and D32 both have. So in order for the shape to be possible, each of the ratios must be simultaneously adjustable to 1, because the overlaps should be at the same place. Otherwise, it's impossible. If that's the case, then the product of the ratios d12, d23, and d31 must multiply to 1. And it turns out, it's enough to just check this product. If it's not 1, then there is no rescaling that brings the ratios to 1 simultaneously. So let's check 2 by 2. Perspective demands that a1 is further than a2, and c3 is further than c1, and b2 is the same distance as b3. So the ratio d12 and d31 are both greater than 1, and d23 is equal to 1. So the product must be greater than 1. Thus, the Penrose triangle is impossible. Now, underlying this argument is the mathematical machinery called check cohomology. Essentially, it's how we establish that the product of those ratios is enough to determine if the three ratios can be simultaneously set to one. And this is where the ambiguity group comes in. It's the group over which the rescalings live. In particular, it's the multiplicative group of the positive real numbers. So this is an excellent example of cohomology, because generally speaking, cohomology tells us when global stuff behaves badly, even when local stuff is nice. And that's exactly what happened here. Each L shape is nice on its own, but globally they can't fit together. So if you want more details, this article gives an excellent summary of the explicit construction of the cohomology group.